Hi, my name is Tammy and welcome to College Credit Coach, where we are striving to help kids of any age earn college credits before ever taking a college course. And today I'm here with my second child, Emily, and we're going to talk about the financial accounting CLEP test. Now, the financial accounting CLEP test is a little different um, than most of the other CLEP tests. And when I say CLEP test, I'm talking about college level exam programs. You can take these tests. If you pass with a certain score, um, then you can get college credit uh, at different universities. So Emily wanted to take the financial accounting class or <laughs> financial accounting test. And as I began to research online to find out the different things that she would need to study and what she would need to know, I soon found that there are not a lot of, there's not a lot of information about the financial accounting CLEP test um, online. There's a lot of information about different accounting tests, but not the CLEP test in particular. So um, I did my best at finding the information we would need and how to prepare. And so we're just going to ask Emily some questions about uh, what she would recommend. So first of all, can you just tell me a little bit about the details of the financial accounting CLEP test? Yeah. So um, the financial accounting CLEP test has 75 questions and it's in 90 minutes, whereas the normal CLEP test, like I would say the average, most CLEP tests are 100 questions in 90 minutes. Some are a little bit more and some, this was the first test I've ever taken that was less than 100 questions in 90 minutes, so. Okay, and I know one of our biggest questions was how many math computations would be on the CLEP test? And so what, did, what did, was your experience? Yeah, so when I was preparing for this test, there was a lot of kind of, I'll call it warnings, that there are a lot of formulas that you need to know for this test. And um, I found out that there was about, when I was taking the test, there's about 11 questions that need a calculator and the um, part of the CLEP, like the testing software has um, a calculator very obviously just on the top, but uh, that's beside the point. So the point was that um, it has about 11 questions that you need a calculator for. And I would say probably like seven out of those um, you would need a formula for. So personally, I would say don't stress about formulas. I would say study them, cover them, know about them, but don't stress over them because there are a lot of them, like especially if you do the CLEP RA book, they literally at the end of each chapter have like, I don't know, six or seven, to, six to 10 probably um, formulas. And so I started to panic, I was like, oh my. And then there's 20 chapters about, so. That was a lot of formulas. Okay, and you slightly touched on two different areas I wanna ask you about, but one, um, talk to us about the calculator, because everybody will panic, okay, how many math problems are, gonna, are there gonna be, and then what kind of calculator, because you wanna be familiar and comfortable with your calculator. So what was your experience as far as the calculator for the test? Yeah, so the calculator was super simple. Um, uh, just at the very top bar where you click next, so there's next, back, and then there's like, all a few other things like help and whatever. Um, but just in the middle, top middle was, it just said calculator. You just would click on that and it would just work like any other um, computer. So pretty straightforward. Yeah, very, very okay. straightforward, very simple. Just like a calculator, but on the computer. So okay. very simple. Okay, and then the second thing you kind of talked about was some of the accounting formulas. I know that it can be kind of intimidating, but just tell us a little bit about your experience with the CLEP test and the counting formulas. Yeah, so I personally felt like there was about 11 uh, questions that needed calculator and then probably quite a few of those need a formula, but probably more like, yeah, seven-ish need a formula. And I felt like it was pretty simple stuff. So I would study them, know them um, as best you can, but don't, um, freak out about them too much. Okay, so they're not too tricky anyway. No, it's not, not like too anything bad. that you really I mean, to... I probably got those wrong just because they are tough. Like in general, those questions are kind of just tough questions. Um, they're like long word problems. Not all of them, but in general, they tend to be kind of longer word problems that are just hard to even understand what the question was. So I would say that there's easier questions to try to get right than those. So. Okay, and let me ask you, do you like math? I don't really like math at all. So, But do you like business? I do like business. Okay, so, so she loves business. So that's why we thought financial accounting would be a good business slash math course for her to take um, 
just in general. Okay, so then talk, talk to us a little bit about like the different curriculums or different resources we did find for you to use. Just tell us what we found and what you did use and then we'll um, dissect a little bit more further. Okay, sounds good. So I used um, the Financial Accounting for Dummies book, which is right here. Um, Reading Financial Reports for Dummies. Um, and then I also used um, the CLEP REA book called Financial Accounting. You can see that's what it looks like. Then I used um, Modern States. And I also used, um, uh, I read a little bit of The Accounting Coach um, because that was recommended by one resource for CLEP. But I felt and like the, we, the accounting coach is a website online, right? Yeah. So it's accountingcoach.com, I believe it is. Yeah. Um, but it's just an online uh, way to learn. It's basically like blog post articles, um, but a ton of them to learn accounting. Um, but and then, is reading your favorite way to learn? No. So I wa I preferred the um, Modern States videos, and then I also did the. Um, uh, five learn accounting in under five hours by accounting stuff on YouTube. And so the that title one, wait say it one more time. The so title of the video is so the title of the video is learn accounting in under five hours. So learn accounting in under five hours, and then um, the video was by accounting stuff. Okay, on we'll YouTube. link it down below. Yeah. Okay. Um, but that I use actually towards the end of my test as I was just trying to kind of review stuff. Um, but I felt that was very helpful. Okay, so you've told us a little bit about the curriculum and the resources that you did do, that we found and, and you did complete, but you said that if someone was to do it again, if we were to have another sibling mm -hmm. or somebody do it again, you would streamline it a little bit and you'd have them do it differently. So tell us, the audience, how would you do it differently? Those resources, what would you do different? Yeah, so personally, I would start by um, studying the that five hour video called uh, Learn Accounting in Under Five Hours by Accounting Stuff on YouTube. I felt like that was a really great stepping stone and it taught me all the things that I felt like were really important. Um, most of the things that were really important. So I felt like it was a really great foundation. And personally, as very much a visual learner, I do better with that than like video, or I do better with videos than I do with like a blog post or a book sometimes. So. Um, especially with how foreign of a concept it was to me, financial accounting, I really hadn't ever studied before, and so I really didn't know anything about it. So I felt like that was a great video that would be a great starting spot. And then the other thing that I felt like it was really, really important to me passing the test was the REA CLEP book and for financial accounting. And this has two practice tests, which I felt like was helpful, but more importantly, it had um, sections about uh, vertical journal entries to record, so like the debits and the credits. So I felt like this was super, super important. And even in the book, it said that um, a lot of resources won't cover this. And I found that to be very true. A lot of resources did not cover it, but it was super important to me knowing stuff for the test. And I felt like it probably was what made me pass the test. So, And one of the things you did with these vertical journal entries is you made um, yeah. Note cards. So I made um, vocabulary cards for each of the things. So I would write on the front journal, journal entry to record whatever it was. So let's say it was um, reimbursed petty cash. And then on the other side, I would write, you would debit uh, various expense accounts and then you'd credit cash. So things like that. Um, found that to be super helpful. There was a lot of vocab cards that I wrote, but this was closer to the test and I felt like I was needing some help with something i wasn't sure exactly what it was but i felt like this was super super important for that and yeah so i really liked the ra clip book then the other resources that i studied i did think they were good um so the modern states i enjoyed doing um but i felt like um it wouldn't necessarily you wouldn't necessarily have to and then the other thing that i did was the reading financial reports for dummies and i felt like that was a really well written book um, but I'm not sure you would necessarily have to do that. So if you did the first two things, like I mentioned, you could kind of look over and see if you feel like you're doing pretty well, um, you won't maybe need to do anything more. But then if you feel like you're struggling, financial report for dummies, then modern states or um, accountingcoach.com was also really good. I just felt like it was 
sometimes reading is hard for me, especially with how visual of financial accounting it is. So. Okay. Okay, so then just moving on, can you tell us the practice test that you took? You touched a little bit about it, but just... Yeah, so I took um, a total of five practice tests before taking the test. So I took the three Peterson's tests, and I feel like those are really always, for pretty much every subject, we've done that. Like every subject, yep. we do and that. And those are on petersons.com, yep. and you buy a membership. We usually buy a monthly membership every time somebody's ready to take a, a test. Buy yep. a monthly membership. Um, yeah. And if you have kids, you have more than one kid that's taking a test at a time, everybody uses that membership and uh, yeah. learns their test. So you took the three Peterson's tests, and then what else? Um, and then I also did the two um, practice tests from the uh, club book. Um, I felt like those prepared me pretty well in general. I think the Peterson's is always probably a little bit more on the accurate side, and the RA club book gives you a little bit more of a, like, you get a worse score than you probably get in the end of the test. So I would say it's most important to get a score of 60 or more in the Peterson's test, and then if you do a little bit worse on the CLEP RA test, that's okay. Okay. Um, you're yep. still prepared for the test. So, so. we have found that um, with the practice test, if our kids are scoring at least a 60% or higher on at least two of the practice tests, normally the Peterson test, then they're usually ready to take the actual CLEP exam. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Yeah. Um, how did you actually feel during the actual financial accounting CLEP test? As you're sitting there, you're taking it, did you feel rushed for time? Um, did you feel like you knew the questions? What was your feeling there? So I had 75 questions in 90 minutes, which is the most time I've had for any questions. Um, I felt like I had quite a lot of time. However, I did not end the test with much time left because I had marked several things. But I started the test feeling really confident getting a lot done. Um, and then when I got to some of the f problems with formulas, I figured I would just mark them. Then I wrote down what number question it was, and then I would come back to it because um, throughout the test, I'd mark questions I just want to come back to. Um, so that's why I marked it and wrote down the question number um, mm -hmm. so that I would come back to it and know that that was of priority before I just looked through right. the test any of the test questions. So our idea is always, as we've talked to our kids about test taking, is to get through all the questions and not to get stuck on just one and spend too long on that one, but to mark it or write it down on your, um, on your, mm -hmm. what is it, your scratch paper, and keep moving through so you can get all your questions answered because there may be, you can answer the easier questions at least taking less time, then come back to the harder ones, the math mm -hmm. computations and things. And so that does seem to work pretty well. Yeah, so then I finished the test with about like 26 minutes or 30 minutes um, left. So I had quite a bit of time, and at that point I went through my 11 questions that I had just guessed on so far, and so I went back and tried to do as best I could with a calculator, and that is what I did for that. Then um, by that time I had like, I don't know, like 10 minutes left or something, and so then I just did a little bit of looking over some of the questions I had marked, and then I ended the test with like only a couple, like only a minute left in time. So. Okay, and so just wrapping everything up, last thoughts, what would your advice be to any future test taker of the financial accounting CLEP test? Like if you were just to say, you meet somebody on the street, what would you say, do this? I would say kind of the things that we mentioned, but the CLEP RA book, the accounting stuff, um, making sure you're doing well on the practice tests. When I first started taking the practice test, I wasn't doing overly great, um, but know that the first time you take the practice test is the most um, similar to probably what your test score will be. So if you take it two or three times, it's not going to be as good of a representation of what your score will be. So make sure you get um, a good, solid score for the practice test, and that yeah, would be a problem. Okay, it. and I think one of the things that really helped her is I saw her study and really made things click were those vocab cards about the journal entries. So mm -hmm. I would highly recommend that. And that's one thing I will, if any of my other kids take it or if I ever give advice out, that's what I will tell them yeah. to do. And for me personally, writing things down is super important. So 
um, for the five, the learn accounting in under five hours video, and for all other, all of the other things I did, I had always had a notebook or vocab cards. That I was writing down stuff constantly. Okay. So that's a really important thing for me, as I'm right. saying. And one little trick I have for, um, I have a child who hates writing. So Emily loves to, doesn't mind writing. She'll stop the videos and write everything down. Um, another child that I have doesn't like to write. So I usually stop the video, you know, if I'm watching YouTube and do a screenshot and then go back and print those screenshots off. And that's how we'll study it that way. So just a little tip for you if you've got one that hates to write. So yeah. um, anyway, that is our great advice to you for taking the financial accounting CLEP test and being able to pass. Um, someday I hope to maybe put together a little cheat sheet um, with the different formulas that Emily looked up and all the different accounting formulas. Um, so look for that in the description box. And then um, we would also love if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel here at College Credit Coach and comment down in the um, comment down below and tell us if you found any good resources or something that's really helped your kid pass the test um, and how they did. We would just love to hear from you and um, just love to share the experience in the journey of earning college credits. So we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.